All right, here we are ready to do 1.3. This one tends to trip people up a little bit, so I will go sort of fast, but um, you should be able to stop and rewind as you need to. So the key to these ratio problems is to start by putting the first item, the first thing, over the second thing. So that's the first step. Your second step is to get it so that your units are the same. You're going to multiply it by a unit rate. And then once your units are the same, you can disregard them and just reduce the fraction. So let me demonstrate that here. 42 nickels to 8 dimes. So I'm going to write 42 nickels over 8 dimes. So that's step one. Now I need to multiply that by a unit fraction that has nickels on the bottom and dimes on the top. Okay, so that my dimes will cancel and my nickels will cancel because I got one on the top, one on the bottom. So how many nickels are in one dime? There are two nickels for every one dime. So now I can cancel my words. And I'm left with, on the top, 42 times 1 over 8 times 2. Now, you notice that I didn't actually multiply yet because I need to factor first and then cancel my common factors, same thing we've done before, and then reduce it. So 42, the prime factorization of 42 looks like this. So it's 3 times 2 times 7, and I have a times 1. I always have a times 1 <coughs> Excuse me, that is invisible, but there if I need it. I can drop it or I can add it. And 2 is prime, but 8 is 2 times 4, which is 2 times 2. So 8 is 3 twos, but I also have that 2 there, so this is actually 4 twos. So now I ask myself, what do I have that's the same on the top and on the bottom? Well, I have twos. So I have a pair of twos here that will cancel out and become ones. And now I have nothing left that is common. I have on the top, I have three times one times seven times one. I could use my formula, I mean my 20 by 20 multiplication table. And here I have two times two times two. So it is going to it's just going to be 21 over 8. And that is improper, but I don't have to convert it unless they tell me to. So 21 oops, over 8. is the answer. So remember, first step is write it as a fraction, first thing over second thing. Second step, multiply it by a unit fraction. That has the top units on the bottom and the bottom units on the top, then simplify. Okay, for these problems, determine whether it is true or false. The easiest way to do these is to do um, what I call cross products. Multiply these two, multiply these two. If they're the same, then it's a true proportion, and if they're not, then it's false. So 16 times 24, 4 times 6 is 24, I can use my multiplication table, 4 times 1 is 4, plus 2 is 6, placeholder 0, 2 times 6 is 12, 2 times 1 is 2, plus 1 is 3, add. So 24 times 16 is 384. Let's see about 12 times 32. I like to put, for some reason, the larger number on top when I'm multiplying. You don't have to. I didn't over here. But I like to. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 3 is 6. Placeholder 0. 1 times 2. 1 times 3. Add. Look at there. They're the same. So that's a truth. Okay. If they had been two different numbers, it would be false. So that's the quickest and easiest way to do these problems. And if you do this method where you 
sort of get that number there and this number here, it's going to help you later in unit four because we're going to use that proportion or actually maybe even in unit two and or three. So it's a good habit to get into. All right, so that should be true. Yes. Again, we're going to do our cross products here. So 8 times 6, 48. Both of these are on your um, multiplication table. So that's true. Whoops, let's go back to the other screen. All right. Same thing here, cross products. So I'm going to skip it. Same thing here. Skip it. All right, here we go. Let's do another one of these. These tend to be tricky for everybody, so we're going to do as many as we can fit in with our time. So we start by writing 34 quarters over $2. Then we're going to multiply it by a conversion factor that has dollars on the top and quarters on the bottom. Well, how many quarters are in $1? There are four quarters for every one dollar. So now I've dealt with my units. They cancel out. And on the top, I'm going to have 34 times 1. And on the bottom, I'm going to have 2 times 4. Remember, I'm not going to write that as 8 because I really need to factor everything. So I'm going to write it as 2 times 2 times 2. So 4 is 2 times 2. So let's factor that 34. Use your chart. See that it's 2 times 17. Use your formula sheet to see that those are both prime. So that's as far as you can go with that. And a pair of twos will cancel and become ones. So on the top, I'm going to have 17. And on the bottom, I'm going to have 1 times 2 times 2. 17 fourths. All righty then. Let's do another one. 21 inches to 9 feet. Uh oh, it's not working again. There we go. 21 inches over 9 feet times a fraction with feet on the top and inches on the bottom. There are 12 inches for one foot. That's on your formula sheet if you need it. There's several conversion factors that are there that you might find handy. So now my words have been handled. I just need to deal with my numbers. I have 21 times 1 over 9 times 12. Now remember, I factor, cancel, reduce. So 21 is on my chart as 3 times 7. They're both prime. I can drop my times 1 or leave it. doesn't matter. 9 is 3 times 3. And 12 is 3 times 4 which is 2 times 2. So now only a pair of 3's will cancel. So I'm left with 7 times 1 over 9 times 4. Use your chart. 36. 7 over 36. Again, I know I'm going fast. Stop and rewind all you want. All right, true or false, we can do that. We know how to do that one. I'm going to skip it. That may be all we need to do in this unit. Yep, here's one more of these. Let's do it. 32 minutes to 7 hours. 32 minutes over 7 hours. That's the first step, right? That guy over that guy. Then I'm going to multiply by a fraction that has hours on the top and minutes on the bottom. So how many minutes are in one hour? One hour, 60 minutes. Now I can drop my words, and my top is going to be 32 times 1. My bottom is 7 times 60. Am I going to actually multiply 7 times 60? Heck no. I'm going to factor. 32 is 8 times 4. 2 times 4. 2 times 2. 2 times 2, so 32 is 5 twos. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 7 is prime. 60 is 6 times 10. 2 times 3, 2 times 5, 2, 3, 2, 5. 
So now I can cancel one pair of twos and a second pair of twos. Whoops. So I'm left with three twos on the top, which gives me eight, and seven times three times five. I can look at my chart to see that that is 7105. And I don't have to worry about whether or not I can reduce this fraction, because if I can't reduce it anymore in this state, then I can't reduce it anymore in this state. So I know that that's my final answer. 8 over 105. Okie dokie. True or false, we've already done those. 49 days to 9 weeks. I think you now know how to do that. Oh, this one's a little different. Let's do this one. Come on. Of course, now it stops. There we go. Okay, so here I need to do 6 times 9. Use my chart. And here I need to do 12 times four and a half. And you haven't learned how to do this yet. <laughs> because multiplication of whole numbers and mixed numbers and fractions is coming up in a later section. So technically this problem shouldn't be in there, but if you notice it's 14 of 14, so if you miss it, it's okay. You can so let me just show you that to quickly, we'll go over this in more depth in a later section. But to multiply these, I'm going to rewrite them as improper. And this becomes 9 over 2. That should be pretty automatic for you at this point. 4 times 2 is 8, plus 1 is 9. And instead of writing 12 times 9 as whatever it is, I'm going to keep it broken down because this is related to what I've just been doing. I'm going to factor before I multiply. So 12 is 3 times 4, 2 times 2. So 12 is 3. 2, 2, 9 is 3 and 3, and 2 is prime. So the only thing that's going to cancel here is this pair of 2s, and I'm going to have 4 times 9, which is 36, over 1, which is 36, and 6 times 9 is 54, so that is false. Let's make sure we got that right. Oh, we didn't. This is a great example. I don't really want to take um, let me try that again, and obviously there's only one other option is true. So there we go, we're right. And I don't want to take the time right now to go back and see what I did wrong. I apologize for that, um, but you will, we will do this multiplication in a later um, section. Okay, that should be it for 1.3.